Everyone, thank you for coming back in. And we had an exciting week. We knew we were going to get an exciting week. Uh, just felt it happening. You saw the opening photo of the Osprey. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I have some great stuff this week. I got a very rare. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look who came. This up now. Wink, say hi. We love Wink. He's the big boy. We'll just put him there for now. God knows what kind of trouble he'll cause during this. But as we were saying, we had a great week with that tail. Yeah. He, it was just amazing. I had a, a great blue heron with an eel uh, in the river with the canoe. Uh, of course, the canoe's drifting. Got some great footage of that. Got a rare plumage on a morning dove at my sister's backyard. I'm going to share that with you. She was very excited to have. Uh, the ospreys, of course. Boom. A uh, little bit there. Finally, finally, with a little bit of osprey action. Uh, got the chickadees again going uh, into a log uh, on some beautiful slow motion video. Might be up and down a little bit, but uh, uh, in the canoe. Uh, so certainly just been blessed this weekend. And next weekend, I, I mean, I can't even wait. The Orioles, uh, the Wobblers, we're going to have... Actually, I did see my first yellow Wobblers this, this week. Uh, don't got any uh, good photos of them yet, so I'm going to wait till uh, I nail them this weekend. And I will nail them coming up. I know it. I feel it. Uh, we're going to get some good action. A lot of video. A lot, a little bit of video. And some pictures. Yes, super. Thanks for coming back. And I knew it was going to explode. And we got some good stuff. I promise you, we got some good stuff. Thank you.
So there we had some early sounds with uh, the deers showing you the spring life that's going on and little red winged blackbird there and oh now you get the chickadees I'm in the canoe sorry for the bouncing up and down but uh, very tough to control the canoe the camera and everything but again the chickadees going in and out of the hole we started off with the soft stuff to get a picture you know uh, just to get a picture of just how the weekend started. I just love this. I mean, this was nonstop. I wish I could have stayed there longer, but the wind did not cooperate and the water did not cooperate uh, to get that pot done. Uh, like, in a steady fashion. But, you know, just to see it is so awesome. I mean, it's just like life is just everything starting to build and come together and stuff. Uh, it is just amazing. Uh, we had the robin. Even doing the robin there, uh, you know, feeding up, already gathering the stuff up. So, uh, wow. it's Life is moving fast, and this weekend coming is going to be even be faster. But, uh, so I, like I said, sorry, a little up and down here, but uh, I thought it was just good enough to, to let it run out here at that point. And... Beautiful uh, painted turtles, you know, they came came out. Uh, let's hope, you know, the weather stays now. Maybe the guys can finally stay out. And then uh, this is a picture of that dove. And we're going to shoot some video. Uh, show you, shared some of that. So how was that? And uh, a nice little surprise with the oyster catcher, huh? Uh, yes, it's the life in the marsh is going to get them back to life here. And uh, this is the great blue heron I had in the river. And look at the eagle, the eel, the, the eel that it had. Uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, of course, this is a river system, and it seems a little calm there if you can see the corner there. To sh but that's the only calm water that was actually there. And you know, you you got to try to stay in a lent that you're not disturbing the animal. He's got himself a meal. And uh, you're trying to stay curious to the animal, but uh, eels are slippery, slippery guiding rings. And uh, 
whew, the wind in the canoe, it is the most challenging thing I, I've come across uh, trying to videotape uh, some of the action here. In the past, this would have been just all like rapid fire, a bunch of stills with my uh, D500. Uh, but it's all uh, Captain of Nikon D780 in slow motion. It does allow for that. Uh, that camera certainly, that body certainly does allow for me to capture in slow motion without... I mean, you're, you're in a canoe, so it's not, not a stable platform. Uh, and to get the best that you can out of it when you're drifting in the right way, for sure. Uh, Amazing, amazing to watch. Look at the beautiful uh, plumages on the back of the hair and neck, too. Uh, oh, I love this type of... Uh, I just love, love life. I mean, this is just the best it can get right now. Uh, and everything's just exploding. Everything's feeding up. Uh, oh, it's not enough hours in a day and not enough places to cover for me right now. Uh, next week will be so hectic because I will definitely, within the next two weeks, three, uh, I'll really be working on trying to catch as many wobbler species as possible. Uh, but just watching this great blue. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't want to do a spoiler alert, but uh, the bird starts moving away a little bit. My canoe starts drifting forward and I just spin out of there because... Uh, I don't want this bird to, uh, to, you know, be flushed from his eating spot. I mean, he worked hard to catch this eel, so, and he's working hard to get it in a position where it, eel, eels are so tough, such a tough animal. They really are. Uh, he's doing everything he can to stop the wiggling and the, the stuff. Uh, eventually, uh, I was. Didn't even get to see if he ended up putting the thing down because uh, I got drifted down river. But what a way to end this, I believe, huh? That is ending on a high note, and hopefully the rest of the next couple of weeks, high notes will just continue and continue. I'm glad you tuned in. Well, that will do it for this episode. You came back in, we got in the canoe, we did a little bit from land. Oh, man, and... uh. I just thank you for all. I mean, it's so tough to even cut cut these videos down and the uh, action down right now. It's going to be tough. Uh, I mean, I weeded out a lot of stuff that I didn't put in there because, you know, I know in the fear that I had some yellow wobblers, but nah, I was, you know, we'll get quality, quality stuff to hopefully and continue this, continue to get out there. Thanks for coming by. Tune in next week. Uh, I'm a busy man. It is getting put together. Boom. As you can tell by my verbal talking out there and stuff, this is all unedited. I just take this from the very top and just whoosh, just go with it and make a fool out of myself. And that's fine. And you love that. So peace. Thank you.